Alright guys, so today's video is going to be different from videos I usually do on this channel where instead of doing a review of something or some gameplay clips, today I'm going to talk about something and to start off, I first want to talk about my new friend, Evelyn. Now Evelyn here, you can see she's from Ireland, she's got a trade link, she's a community ambassador level 25 and she's got some photos of her up. I mean, she wants us to know who she is, she's got her gamer girl communities, she's got a profile picture, she's got a profile bio, she loves Counter-Strike, look at this man, 2,600 odd hours. Perhaps she's input review. Best, best game, CS Go, Rush B, perfect, absolutely. She loves her Dota too, she loves Team Fortress, look at this. Added you as friends, send my GG application, plus rep, you are beautiful. Oh, I mean, I thought the Steam community was kind of toxic, but wow. Wait, it's elevated guys, great elevation, thank you very much. Like, there's a good looking profile as well. Send her a little, let's see your name, let's see your name, come on. Crazy, oh. Trades Arena, CS Money, absolutely loves Counter-Strike. You know what, I've got some skins in my inventory. Maybe I'll see what she's got, you know? Let's see if she wants anything. See if she's got anything good I could trade for. Let's send her a little trade link. Just click here to get a trade. And why can't I trade you? Well, simple reason, guys. Evelyn's not Evelyn. Evelyn's name is not Evelyn at all. In fact, it's probably a real account. There's a high chance. This account, known as Evelyn, was more than likely a real account, but it's called a cracked account, where essentially the account's been unprotected or it's been managed to be hacked. In that case, it'll be sold on forums or websites, and as such, an awful lot of scammers, Russians and all that will buy the account. If it's got pictures like that and a high level, it's more trustworthy, so in turn they can maybe bait you in more. So I'm going to go over exactly what happened with this scam, I'm going to teach you how I learnt that it was a scam pretty quickly, and also, how to just kind of prevent yourself from falling for the scam. The worst thing you can do really is to fall for the scam. Just because it seems simple enough. Random person adds you, asks you to play a game with them. And then the next thing you know, you're sitting there going, where the fuck's my inventory gone? It's missing. So let's get right into it. So it all starts on the 16th of February where she adds me and I ask her, who are you? And I don't get any reply. So the next day I see she's online and I send her the question mark. And she says, Hey man, what's your CSGO MM rank? So I say, I don't play CSGO. Is this all you wanted me for? So she replies a few moments later saying, Well, we're playing E Play Power with my team and I need a stand in for one game. Can you come play with us? So I do some Googling of this because I know of like Face It, Sevo, ESEA, and I go, E Play Power doesn't exist. To which she turns in and goes, LOL, exist. So I say to her, Google has no entries for ePlay Power, and she sends me a screenshot with ePlay Power as the top, and says, what is this then? So I say, well shit, Google scuffed, my bad. And she goes, well. So I send her a screenshot of what I said into Google, which was ePlay Power CS Go, because when I looked up, there were some speakers. And <clears throat> I go, again, no, because I don't play Counter-Strike. To which she says, are you playing or what? So I go, what part of... I do not play CSGO, do you not understand? And she sends me ePlay Power as a screenshot again. To which, she goes, why are you sending me your Google? Can you at least vote for our team? So, I hit her back with, I sent you a screenshot to show that Google, I googled ePlay Power, then CSGO, and there was no results. I just didn't want to look like an asshole. I don't even know your team's name. And she goes, open set returnal, and they signed up teams. So, I'm looking around the website and I click the team's name and ask me to sign in. So I'm like, hmm. So I just sell her, you know. I voted. And at this point, I'm in Discord with my friends and they're like, this is a scam. This is clearly a scam. I know this is a scam, so we'll see how it goes. So I say to her, where are you from? Now, it takes her a few minutes, but she goes back to me and just says, fuck off. So, without any knowing why, I just say, you've added me as a friend, and I'm just asking where you're from. That's not a crime. To which she says, you didn't vote. To which I said, well, I want to know what I'm voting for. Your team, yes, but how long have you been in the league? I'm genuinely curious about this league. To which then, I sent her a little message saying, I'd like to log in to vote, but can't log in as it's asking for my authenticator. And then I sent her a picture. Now this picture shows an account, throwaway account that my brother had, fact banned and all the rest of it because cheater. And it's saying it needs the authenticator. 
The screenshot also shows this account does not have the authenticator. I said, that's the thing my account doesn't have. To which she says, sign it up then. I don't quite think this scammer knows what's going on. So to understand what's going on, they've essentially got an account that's been cracked and bought it and it looks legit and they're basically trying to add people with decent CSGO inventories with items worth an awful lot and trying to basically get them to sign into like a fake website and give them an authenticator code that they can use to sign into Steam and change the password really quickly. The thing is though, that if you just do just some basic research, even if you look at it, the screenshot that I showed the reason that the authenticator was in such a place is there was actually a window that opened within the window. You could not remove it from the browser like most Steam API does where you can move it on another screen. This was locked specifically to that browser window and I could not move it out of that window. So before even logging in, I kind of knew it was a scam. And one of the biggest ways to tell if a website's a scam is firstly, its prominence on Google. Most places such as a CSGO tournament website would actually have CSGO in its tag. So if you Google that website plus CSGO, it would tell you straight away that that'd be the first option there saying, you know, this is our website. Secondly, it's a lot simpler. You gotta use a who is. And essentially what you do is you go to like GoDaddy's who is or whatever, and you put in the website. In turn, it gives you where the website was registered, when it was created, when it was last updated, and I'm going to show you this one and I think you will find it quite funny. And again, anyone can do this. If you ever get a trade offer quite like this or someone trying to get you to do this, just you know play along with it, get the website, then look at the website. Just I'll show you right now in this little video right now. So as you can see here, I'm in the GoDaddy Who Is and you can see the domain name, it's ePlayPower.com. Fun fact, this domain is now offline. Now it was created on the 15th of the 2nd, 2019. It's now the 19th. This website no longer exists. So they've already flipped this website. It's probably gonna come up as a different domain name or something, or look completely different. But as you can see, it was registered in Russia. I don't wanna say all Russians try to hack, but uh, So you know. Now, this is a simple scam really, all they try to do is get you to sign into this website so they can get your authenticator, log into your account and steal your inventory. So if you have a really big inventory and you don't quite trade, I'd recommend putting it on private or something. I get these things all the time where people just add me like, oh do you want to trade your knife, do you want to trade this or that, or do you want to play with us? It's usually all a scam. I wouldn't really bother with it. I don't quite know why they do it now considering, you know, everything's on trade hold for X amount of days. I think it's like seven days if you have only been friends for like three days or something and it doesn't go down very quickly but regardless i hope that this doesn't really happen to anyone if you do end up with this just you know, play it through do the who is see where it's coming from see when the website was created if it looks too good to be true it is these cracked accounts go around all the time they're ranging from any level of course the higher the level the more games on it the more they're going to pay for it so I wouldn't expect them to be like level 50 and 60 on Steam. I would expect them to be level 1 to 20. But until then guys, hopefully this doesn't happen to you. And I'll see you soon.